Good day, everyone. My name is Hayden Jamal of HaydenJamal.com. Sorry I have a little cold today, but I wanted to congratulate you on making your first big microphone purchase, right? You have your home studio. You've got your great new microphone that you've paid for hundred to a thousand dollars for and now you're probably thinking how in the world do I make sure that this thing lasts me five or six years how to properly care for your microphone let's talk about it hey well good bro you ready for me? good yeah the microphone's already ready for you man just go ahead on over she I cool 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 you yeah. know Damn right, this is right. Cool, cool. Yeah, man, I'm about to get in the thing, right? Okay, guys, so I'm going to give you guys some good analogies on what exactly your microphone is and how to properly take care of it. Think of your microphone being like a balloon. Have you ever seen a balloon just attract like dust and stuff like that? It has this static charge. Well, your microphone really works the same way. If you left the microphone out because it's a piece of electricity, it's just going to attract dust and such like that over time. Whenever you've gotten up close on a window and you've like blown into the window, you can see that your breath kind of makes this fog on the window. So here's a couple of things that you can do to avoid that. One. Always make sure that you keep a plastic bag over your microphone whenever it is not in use. Uh, preferably you want to have it in the case, but like me, I bought my Neumann 103. It didn't come with a case, so I pretty much keep it mounted on the stand all the time. I always have a plastic bag over the entire microphone so that no dust or anything gets on top of it. And plus I keep my studio completely isolated free from all outside things. So there's nothing in here but studio equipment. And then when actually putting the bag over the microphone, don't seal it all the way. Leave a little air inside of it, but make sure that dust is not just able to run all rampant all over the diaphragm and such. You don't want any of your saliva that gets on the microphone to then mix in with all the dust that's already on the microphone, creating somewhat of like a, like a foggy kind of sound. You don't want that on your condenser mic. One thing that will really help stopping all of that spit getting onto the microphone is having a really good pop filter. Stop spitting, stop. When you get a diaphragm all gummy, it kind of becomes like a sticky tape to dust particles. A contaminated capsule on a microphone will produce high frequency responses, which you don't want. It can also cause discharge noises or it can make the microphone shut down completely. Always keep a minimum of six inches between yourself and the mic when you are recording. The thumb pinky tool works pretty good. I hope you have a hand. All you have to do is put yourself right here, here's your microphone, and you're pretty much good to go. If you're not getting enough sound, turn your gain up. Simple solution. Couple of little things that you may not know. Don't ever blow into a microphone. I promise you, you can go to YouTube right now and you know watch somebody say test and blow into a microphone and just kill the entire thing. Don't ever do that. Blowing into a microphone is actually the way that you will actually destroy that microphone. No professional will ever blow into a microphone. And if you ever get a ribbon microphone and you blow into it, Hell hath no fury on your setup, my lord. To determine whether or not a microphone is working, just speak into it with a normal voice and you should be good to go. Whenever you are setting up your microphone stand with your mic, make sure that you've got some reinforcement like a weight on the stand so that there's no tilting in the event someone comes in. You got a pet that all of a sudden hits your stand and next thing you know knocks down your microphone. You don't want anything like that, so just get a weight to reinforce that. Hey bro, hold on, I don't think I hear anything. Hold on. Going on with the thing right here. What's going on with the thing right here? Another thing, don't hit a microphone with your hand. Don't don't do that. That's just that's just dumb. I hope you learned something today. My name is Hayden Jamal. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. Make sure to be the dream. Stop dreaming and record something dope. No one thinks, never apologize for how I fit. That's like saying sorry, you're feeling remorse for being ripped. When I make it, it exposes fakeness in the actions. I pay just as much attention to the people not clapping.